When your mortgage payment includes escrow, it's important to understand how that works and what you need to do to make sure that your escrow account is as up to date as possible at all times. Now, before we get into that, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date on whenever these videos come out. So when you're escrowing, what that means is that included in your mortgage payment is your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance monthly amount. Now those are billed a little bit differently than just monthly, but with your payment, since you're being escrowed, you're just paying one monthly amount and then the escrow account takes care of the rest. So if we look at them separately, here's how each of those services work. Homeowner's insurance is an annual premium that covers you for the year in advance of you living in the home. So when you close on a property, you pay for 12 months worth of homeowner's insurance at closing so that you're covered for the following year. Also, there's a two month buffer collected at closing to sit in the escrow account just in case there's ever a variance when a bill is due. There's a little bit extra in there to cover small variances like that. Every year, your new homeowner's insurance bill comes due and the escrow account holder, which is the mortgage servicer, pays that bill for you out of that escrow account. And same thing goes with property taxes. Now in Vermont, each town has a different amount of times that property taxes are collected and for a different tax years sometimes. So typically it's July through June, but every now and then the municipal year is January through December. So it can get a little bit wonky if you're paying them on your own. Again, if you're doing escrows, you don't have to worry about it. The mortgage servicer will handle that for you. Same thing applies. You pay one monthly payment, which includes your property taxes, one month's worth. That goes into your escrow account and then say that property taxes in your town are collected four times a year, then four times throughout the year, the mortgage servicer will pay your property tax bill out of that account. Now here's what you need to watch out for. Whenever that escrow account is established, the mortgage servicing company is setting up the escrow account to make those payments automatically based on when those payments are due and billed. So if they're billed in August and due August 15th, more than likely the mortgage servicer is paying that bill at the end of July, just to make sure that they are not late. Now, what they are not doing is getting every updated tax bill as it comes in. So here's where it's really important to make sure that you're keeping that escrow account up to date. So anytime you get a new property tax bill or a new homeowner's insurance policy, or if some reason your policy changed and your premium went up or down, send it to the mortgage servicer and ask them to do what's called an escrow analysis. Now they do this automatically one time a year, but that's not always enough to make sure that you're up to date. So let's do a simple example. Let's say that your property taxes are $100 a month and it's collected just one time a year. And we'll call it, they collect in November. And you got a new property tax bill in July for $110 a month but the escrow account or your mortgage servicer doesn't know this yet. So they're still collecting 100 a month from July right up through November. And let's say that they do the escrow analysis in November. Well, now they know, oh, we've been collecting only $100, but we need to have been collecting $110. So now however many months that is, July, August, September, October, November, almost five months worth of lesser payments that you've been paying that you need to now catch up. So they'll hit you all at once and say, oh, okay, you're down $50 from what you should be. So now you owe that on your next payment. Now, the way property taxes work in Vermont is they're typically a lot more than $100 a month. What I've seen before is people get hit with, you know, sometimes four or $500 all at once because they didn't keep their mortgage servicer updated and ask them to run an escrow analysis when they got that new tax bill. So be sure to always send in new tax bills, always send in new homeowners insurance policies to make sure that your mortgage servicer has your escrow account as up to date as possible. That's essentially it. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something today.